hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I thought I would just do a little bit more interacting in, in my videos and today look at this isn't this just absolutely adorable and I haven't seen anyone do these um, and they are like an aqua bouquet and I'm sure you've had them you get them you know if you get a bouquet of flowers and what they're all they're in this like box which the flowers then sit in the water um, and I wanted to make one but then I came up with doing a little mini version and oh my god it's just adorable and I've even put the little envelope in um, and it's just all paper foam silk flowers so easy to make and wouldn't this just make the most adorablest gift so I'm really proud of this and we are going to make that today so um, if you stick with us I'll show you how I made it Okay, so we're going to get on and make this beautiful little mini bouquet. So, to make your box you need two pieces of cardstock which are nine and a half by three and a half inches. And we're going to score them Score them on the long side, so first of all score at 3 inches, then turn it around, so your score line is over there, and score at 3 again. Do the same with the other one, score at 3, flip it round and 3 again. Okay, now get a pencil and a ruler and what you want to do is on each end of both pieces you just want to measure in three quarters of an inch and just mark it with a pencil so three quarters all right so you can see those two little pencil marks and then do the same again on the opposite end, three quarters. Or it would be two centimetres, yeah, three quarters or two centimetres. <clears throat> do the same with the other one. Right, now take your ruler and you want to score from the pencil mark to here, to your first score line. Right, so score a couple of times. Do the same with the opposite side. Okay, and then you just want to fold them in. Also fold and burnish on your other score lines as well. So that's what you should have on one of them. Now the other one, 
all we want to do is draw these lines with a pencil because we're actually just going to cut them away okay we don't need these ones so instead of scoring just mark with a pencil and then just cut them just cut them away with your scissors oh, I haven't got any scissors okay so just follow your pencil lines and just snip them away and then you can fold and burnish them And then what will happen is this will sit in here okay like this and then it will fold up and they will stick in there like that okay that's how we get the little shape now to get the top pieces here we have to do them separately so take the one that we've just cut away and I've got another piece of card in the same colour and all you do for that is just put them on here <clears throat> and just draw around them okay so I need four of these cut out so I've done one but obviously I need to do another three more and then when you do them you need to score them on the smaller side here at half an inch and that is so that they will then like hook over the top okay so We've done that. Now what I want to do as well is on this one I thought it would be nice to decorate the box. I'm going to heat emboss it. So obviously we don't need to do them little bits we folded over because we're not going to see them. So and I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm just going to do these four pieces here. So I've got this beautiful stamp here um, and I've got silver embossing powder <clears throat> this is a Sizzix embossing powder so I'll just show you what I mean I'm just going to wipe it over I'm going to ink it up with some embossing ink I mean you don't have to do this you could use a patterned paper or just leave it plain do whatever you want and then this is a lovely big stamp so it would probably virtually cover the whole thing in one go I'll quickly put the powder on and show you what it looks like just absolutely love this oh that's lovely it's got all iridescent like can you see that it's all iridescent like glittery that is beautiful so I'm going to get on do that one that one and that one and I will be straight back okay so there we go they've turned out beautiful so all we have to do is pop glue on here <clears throat> And then we are just going to literally stick it like this and then when it lifts up it will meet and close. 
so what we want to do down here Now, for our <clears throat> these pieces here, so that will stick on there like this. Now, if you if you feel like they're a little bit too big still, all you need to do is just trim some off at the sides, and then you can mite it in there a little bit as well. until you're happy that it sits in there quite well and you're just basically going to glue them around but before as you can see I did a fancy little cut out and it's just an edge die and this time I'm going to use this one so you will just run it through like that obviously four times because we need four and if you wanted to heat emboss your pattern or stamp your pattern on there you could so I am going to quickly run them through like that and I'll be okay. so there we go I've got my four little um kind of skirt bits or whatever you want to call them so you're going to need some of this dry florist foam again or any kind of foam florist's foam and I've just cut it so it will just sit in there and it doesn't come all the way to the top so we're not going to put this in yet because we're going to glue it in last so God, it's so messy okay so what I've got again is just a selection of flowers and we're just going to kind of build it round like I've done in this one. Now these ones here don't have a wire <clears throat> so if you want to wire them if you just take I've just got some wire here and oh, these are wire cutters but you would just need little pliers I don't want to cut it and you just basically want to curl the end around so it looks like a little hook and then if you just stick it in the middle of the flower so it comes out and then this little hook will kind of get hidden inside and then you can obviously put um, florist's tape I mean we won't need the I don't know we'll, we'll leave it that length for now and then we can just wire it so it looks I mean this wire is so fine and thin I don't know if I can even I know I can just use whatever little wires or whatever you've got I mean you don't really have to put tape on because you probably won't see it to be honest But I wanted this one as like the middle flower. Okay, so now, <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to be way too long, so we'll cut some off. And then I will have this in the middle. I know it's going to sit up like that now if you want to put it in and it'll just give you a sense of where your flowers how high your flowers are going to come up etc you know what I mean and then again like I did the other day it's just a case of sticking them in and just building around so you want to try and go for a round kind of shape And we're going to glue this in anyway, so don't worry about that. So 
so I think again I will just get on and speed this up because it will be just boring if I just uh, if you have to sit and watch us do this but just put them you know where you think Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that and can you see what I mean I've tried to keep like a round shape all right now I've got some cellophane here now if you don't have any you could even cut up just you know like the bags you use to put your cards in just slit it down the side and um, but I happen to have a little roll of it I mean it's not the best it's not the thickest but it'll do and I think Mine measures about nine inches by eleven and a half, and I've got two. And all I do is just fold it over like that, so that we've got two little points. Can you see? Now I could just stick it in there, but it just kind of bunches up, and I don't want that. I want it to be more of like you know a bouquet shape so what I did with that one was I took this and all I did was I just wrapped it around like this so I've got a piece on the back and then the same with the other bit I did on the front now I just hot glued mine on and I'm going to do the same again so I'm just going to put glue just around here and it does glue pretty well and then I think I probably want it about here and then I just held it on now just be careful that you don't burn your fingers can you see it just glues on like that because you're not going to see this it's going to be hidden inside the box anyway right and then I've got another piece which here it is I'll just do the same thing just fold it over so I've got two points and then I'm going to glue this one around the front and once it's stuck in its little box it doesn't come out anyway so and then I'm going to glue that on there and then you can just wrap it round and I just think it gives a, a night can you see it like cups the flowers I mean I did I did work in a florist for oh, quite a while and I used to make all sorts of bouquets and funeral flowers and all sorts of stuff so I'm pretty good with it still you see it's much better than just shoving it in and it'll just all wrinkle up and I think this way it looks more like a proper little bouquet so we're not going to pop it in yet because we need to put our sides on I'll just put that there to dry <clears throat> and then we just need to glue these over here there's our gorgeous little aqua box 
now take this and then we can now put glue on the bottom just my cable won't stretch very far okay i've just whacked loads of glue on the bottom and then i am gonna pop this in my little box now you're gonna have to force it down a little bit so it's nice and tight It will stick to like the cellophane will get in the way a little bit but it will go in press it down and then you can just rearrange your, your cellophane again I mean, isn't that just the most cutest thing ever? <laughs> Absolutely love this. It's just adorable. I'm so pleased with it. I didn't think it would turn out so cute, but it's just a mini version of an aqua book here, really. And then what I did was the little card. Um, I've got a mini envelope punch board. And it tells me here, so this is going to be my little note card, which is one by one and a half inches. Then my little scrap piece of paper is two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And I need to score at one and three eighths. So I put it on, just punch it. just makes a tiny little envelope which I can actually fit my little card in so I'm going to stamp like um, a little message on it which I've got I've got a little stamp set which I'll show you it says my special friend I think I should be able to fit that on. So there's my tiny little envelope. <laughs> oh, I love this. And then that will just go in there. So when they get the little envelope, they can actually open it and get the little message out. And then I just took a little mini peg here. I've got a little pink peg. And again, I just took one of these craft wires. Now this one is a lot thicker than the other. And then I just hot glue, put some hot glue on the peg. Like that. Was that the right way? No, wrong place. Get that off. The hot glue goes on the longer bit that you press to open it. Because you have to put it like upside down. And then just glue the wire on there. Okay, and then you can open the little peg. I don't want to burn myself. Open the peg and it'll clip your little envelope. And then you can just pop that in your in your little bouquet. That is just the most cutest thing ever. I might clip that down and then this time instead of using ribbon what I've done is I've got just took one of my little bow dies that I have. This is a Spellbinders one. And you just use a brad to put it together. Just 
just think whoever you gift this to or even if you just make it for yourself for home it's just a genius little idea if I do say so myself I absolutely love it isn't this just beautiful and then you've got your little, your sweet little message in there which is if I can get it out it's because I've clipped it on with the peg haven't I yeah. special friend my special friend oh it's just I love it absolutely love it so I'll have all the info on my blog I hope you make one um, please remember to like and subscribe um, if you enjoyed this video and I've knocked me bow but yeah it's just the most cutest little thing ever so thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.